for about 10 minutes. You're gonna move around, all right? Do a little sparring in, but hey, play. This is a different sparring than going hard, all right? So there's one thing like in Thailand, it's really a, that I always see, and I try to get my guys to do it as much as possible. There's a time and a place to go hard, right? There's a time and a place, all right? But imagine this, if you were going hard every single day, but then everybody can walk out and come back again the next day. Really, how hard was that? If you could do it every day, are you, is it really that hard? Man, when we go hard, you feel it the next day. Now, if you compound it on that day, and then the next day, pretty soon, something's broken, something's wrecked, something's not working that well, right? And now your whole training starts to slip because of it. You have to work around something. Instead, what happens, is, what I like about the Thai boxing is that they put a lot of play into it, more play, right? They, they bring that up big time. Have fun, sinook, sinook, all right? Play, play. Because they know that the mentality of when they fight is like when you're doing tie pads. Full out, full power, no mercy. Now, if you actually sparred full out like you were doing a pair of tie pads, no mercy, people would be getting wrecked left and right. Right? Their whole goal is, okay, if I have that ability and I have a training method where I can just blitz it in there full out, and the holder can be as active as he wants. He can make it like a full out fight or just make it as a, a technical thing. Now, when you have that training method so you can really bring it up to that level, all right, the goal of timing sparring is to be able to set your tools exactly where you want them and not have to injure and hurt your, your partner. You can set it right on the leg right you want. You can set it right on the neck. I don't know, and Jeremy and anybody who's been to Thailand can tell you, I don't know how many times you're timing sparring, and all of a sudden the dude's neck, his shin is right on your neck, and go, oh, nah ow, nah ow. <laughs> yeah, because, and then next thing you know, it's right up on your shin. How is he putting it there? He is so good, at, and you could try to go hard with them too, but it doesn't matter. They've seen so many things, because they can sp spar 20 rounds a day every single day. And it was, what they're training more than anything is their eyes. Their eyes to be able to see the opening and then their body to put their foot or their hand or their knee where they want to place it, right? And then when it's time to go hard, you could go hard, but that's where the tie pads come in, right? But like I said, there's time and a place. Like if you got a fight coming up, you got to know what it's like to get hit and feel it and how to survive in there. Otherwise, you're going to go in and the first time you get hit, you're in trouble, right? But every day, Every day, day in, day out, you should be able to get in front of somebody and put five, ten plus rounds in and walk away and learn something and feel good and your body feels healthy and you're not all beat up, right? So that's what I want to play now. A lot of times when, and Coach Eric has brought that up a lot of times, hold your hand in your glove like this. You're holding the teeth, all right? Because now if you hit somebody super hard like that and you end up breaking your own hand, too bad for you, that's on you, right? But as soon as, I know I do, as soon as I go like this, I want to use it. I want to use it, all right? So I don't go like this, I go like this, because now it's like, okay, now I can play and tap a little bit and have more of a play feel as opposed to a damaging, I want to use it feel, all right? So in your glove, keep your hands open and more tap, 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 all right? And if I land my kick right on someone's neck and it was on purpose and I controlled it, I could probably have put a lot of mustard on it as well, right? But I don't want it to be luck, I want it to be skill. And that's what the timing is, all right? So just play around, move around a little bit. When I say switch, just grab another partner, all right? And if, uh, if you're here in a, you know, in timing sparring, I'm here in a whack, it's like, whoa, what the heck just happened? That isn't timing. That was not timing anymore, all right? That was like, someone wants to fight. It's like throwing a fastball. Yeah, it's like, no, just tap it in there, move around, play. Do not smash each other right now. Have some fun. Okay? No cuts. Sure. No, no cuts, no black eyes, no bruises, no things. Okay, there's, there's spine, spine is fighting. Uh, Pet Bun Chu. Guy is, has uh, 14 different titles, 9 different weight classes, 300 plus fights, so over two, 250 wins. All right? When you, t when you tie me sparm, he's touch, 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 plays. Right? And all of a sudden, oof. Watching, all of a sudden someone starts to go super hard. Boom, crack someone. He's like this, he goes, oh, you want to fight? No, 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 a sparring. He goes, okay. And then he goes nice and slow, crack again. You want to fight? You want to fight? 
You, know, you got a guy with 350 <laughs> fights in front of you saying, you want to fight? We can do that. And, he, and then it's like the three times rule, man. All of a sudden you just yell, Wah! and then the guy's flying somewhere. <laughs> and then he goes, okay, you come up, we fight. No, it, it, just, and you got a guy like that, guys, you can learn so much from him just by playing, all right? And that's the thing, because they go, they're not, they don't have to prove themselves right now because they're fighting, they're fighting for real. There's no reason to have to prove themselves over and over in the, in the gym by winning a sparring, a timing sparring match, right? The whole goal of timing sparring is just to improve your timing, educate your eyes, feel good, be able to see when the person catches something on you, it's like, oh, no problem, big deal. But I have one of my fighters, uh, James, James Cook, he has a little bit over probably 120 fights, but he gets his butt kicked every day in sparring. He's like, oh, oh, dude, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, that was a good, good one. That was a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's really mastering his defense. He's trying to defend and watch stuff and play his game, right? But when he goes tie pads, it is like, bah, 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 super hard. And then he can go out and fights. Now he gets to test everything to see how it works, right? And he fights, and then he comes back, and then he gets to practice again and play. And then he fights, and he practices, and he gets to play, right? The goal is have fun, right? And like I said, there's a time and a place, but no. Oh, okay, we're gonna go hard today. You don't wanna be timey sparring all of a sudden out of nowhere. Bang, bang, you snap some guy in the face, right? It's like, what is that? I'm going slow, so now you're, you're hitting me when I'm going slow and you're going fast. You've just beat somebody who's punching you in slow motion. You haven't really won anything there, all right? So play, if they're going slow, you stay slow, all right? Now, if they start going hard, you gotta either have that agreement, say, hey, slow it down, right? Because this is not a fight right now. I'm trying to learn. I'm, I want to learn as much as I can so I can come back later and train again and not be injured, right? So no one is timing sparring and just time. Have some fun. Leave the, you know, definitely leave the ego at the door. You know, you know snook, snook. Fun, fun. Have some fun out there. And if you get hit, who cares? It's fighting. There's an art to getting hit correctly. And learning how to roll with it, and learning how to, you know, when you see it coming, what muscles to tense correctly. And if you don't know that, you're going to get knocked out anyways, right? Because you're not always going to be the guy that's hitting. You're going to be hit as well. So when it comes in, it ends up landing. See if you can roll with it correctly, right? See if you can just, boom, okay. Got to watch out for that one the next time. And then learn and then try not to get hit by the same shot over and over. That's a big thing. That's what timing sparring is about. Just have some fun and play. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you guys.